Good morning, guys. Hello, guys, from another episode for Terraria. And today, I uploaded a new video, and that's called the uh, Pumpkin Moon, uh, the Pumpkin Moon uh, Spooky Remix. Uh, it's actually just, or you can just, yeah, it's just called that. So yeah, anyways, if you guys don't know, the Pumpkin Moon, uh, if you guys don't know, there is something that's called the Pumpkin Moon. Uh, and it's basically an event, uh, a post Plantera hard mode event. Uh, if you guys don't know that, I'm pretty sure everybody knows that by now. But I don't, and I'm playing on the PS3. Uh, so I'm gonna give out some tips uh, and tricks uh, on how to defeat the Pumpkin Moon. Uh, so first tip: do not use the freaking Terra Blight. This thing is so bad, it can't even take out the uh, freaking, it can't even take out the uh, pumpkin. Uh, and that's one of the mini bosses uh, in, the, in the event. And guess what, I use this thing so much, uh, and guess what, it sucks man, it's bad. Do not use the terrible, even if you have like this much stuff. Oh, come on. Oh uh, yeah, uh, even if you have that much stuff, you're still at a disadvantage. So I'm gonna give myself some pumpkin pie over here. Okay. I'm just making um an arena for the. I'm just making an arena for the uh, frost moon, which is a uh, another event that I'm gonna cover once I become at level. Once I get to like um that the highest wave. But anyways. Uh, you can only start this event through 7.30 to 4.30. Now the game counts... No oh, frick. Oh, come on. I just, just went, just went. Anyways, uh, good thing I actually had some spares over here. So, I might have to do this longer. But anyways. Um, once the game counts 7.30 as official nighttime, and 4:30 as official daytime. Now you wanna. Uh, now I only have 10 seconds here, so we advise you save right here, okay? Just in case. Uh, as soon as you press that save button, the game is basically, basically will take a while for the next save to happen. And there it is, the pumpkin moon. Now for the first wave against scarecrows. Uh, the first thing you want to do is going to be summoning a bunch of uh, some using the horseman's blade. Now, if you don't have the horseman's blade, just use the terror blade. If you don't got that, where are you? Okay, seriously. Now I now I'm in the second wave right now. Attacking the splinter rings. One tip against the they're just like the uh, scarecrows. Uh, but there's a, a there's not as much as them. There's not as much as scarecrows, uh, and also they're stronger than them. Uh, so you can summon more pumpkins uh, on your way. Uh, and make sure you make sure you press square if you're playing on PS3 or 4. I'm playing on PS3. Uh, I know that sounds pretty dope, pretty sad, honestly. So yeah, the more pumpkins you summon, the better. Uh, I'm going to be talking about more tips. Yeah, we, we are on wave 4 and more than wood. I'm not talking about the joke here, even though I'm pretty late on that. Um, the weapon that you want to always use, well, the weapons you want to always use, look at the flare off first, first of all. I am, or, he's already about to die, and boom, he's done. Like, like, okay, seriously. And there's the poltergeist. Basically, just these enemy, these mini enemies are pretty easy. All right, and look at the evil-looking pumpkin down there. It's pretty, look at that pumpkin moon. I never really saw um, a full uh, pumpkin moon. Anyways, enough with aesthetics. Um, uh, I'm not using the legendary one. You can use demonic flareons. 
if you can get the number 666, of course. Uh, I'm just joking about that. But yeah, I highly advise you do not use Terrorblade. Terrorblade doesn't shoot as much and it deals less damage per second. Look at that. Um, as well, another tip here is do never touch Morning Wood because Morning Wood deals a lot of damage. And I got the Cursed Sapling, even though I don't even like that thing. So yeah, I'm going to talk more tips later, so yeah, there's pumpkin, alright, for pumpkin, my strategy is to just fly like this, and if morning wood is right underneath me, I just like um, flying away like this, and he's done for some odd reason. So the cold bastard pumpkin it takes so long to kill with the terror blade. When he does that one tip, just use the uh, horseman's blade, and he'll, and he'll get punished for it. Trust me, I made a I made a joke about that once. So. Like if you watched my previous, my first terror, my first t um, Terraria video. That took me a while. Sorry for that. Uh, you you. If you watch that, uh, you'll know the joke. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, always ignore the uh, the uh, what's it called? The headless horsemen. Those guys are not even worth fighting. They only drop one thing really, which is pretty sad, I'd say. So I'm in wave ten, and the pumpkin moon is in near its meridian, and that just means the highest point. Uh, which is like um, uh, southern, uh, which is like southern 80 degree 180, and I got this staff right there. You wanna, if you wanna get the the, ch the loot, try go for wave 15 because that's when pumpkin and uh, and uh, you know morning wood start to drop their stuff. Huh? And the pumpkin moon is now in its meridian. Huh? Nothing changes when it have when the meridian occurs. Uh, it just means you have uh, um, like four minutes and thirty seconds left, basically. Another thing: do not have your clock equipped. It just makes you anxious, uh, and you probably try harder and fail miserably. So I advise you to not equip your 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 um, clock. It's actually just a watch, I forgot. So yeah, as you can see right here, the... As you can see right here, the damage per second I'm dealing is too much for Pumpkin to handle. I wonder why, honestly. Yeah, poor Morning Wood. Can't handle, handle it. If you if you're doing this with, with teammates, uh, there's more enemies. However, it will probably more be more easy. It will be faster if you can tr if your if your team can trust each other. So yeah, nev whatever you do, never be underneath the um, pumpkin because if morning wood is present, yeah, good luck with that. Because uh, that those rockets that he shoots uh, are really sh powerful. So oh, yeah, try to ignore that. Try to, I meant, don't ignore it at all. Uh, try to uh, evade it. Uh, and that's what I say, right? Yeah, that's like right there. Um, wave 13 by myself with the freaking flare on. Yeah, for some reason, nobody really talks about the flare on. Like, they just all ignore it. Uh, if you guys still play the PS3 version, I like to see that. And look at that, the horseman's blade is right there. On console and uh, on console and P and desktop uh, and mobile and 3DS, for some reason it would say legendary the horseman's blade, and on old generation console it would say the the legendary horseman's blade, which is proper grammar. Grammar. And you see right there, the rockets were coming out, and those things do a lot of damage. Trust me, you don't want to get hit by that. 
And right there, I'm at wave 14. The cursed sapling once again, because this world is cursed. No pun intended. I'm pretty, like, I'm looking at my camera right now. Um, in the future, guys, I will, I want to get a new camera in the future and a tripod, because I'm not even using a tripod right now. You, you guys can go screen this up in the comments below. I don't really care. Um, I'm going to talk about tips later, but I'm just so far commentating. And look at that. Look, the candy corn rifles down there. That's pretty dope. Because later on, uh, later on in the in the pumpkin minute, more and more, more and more enemies will, more and more drop trance that will increase. Uh, and yeah, that's really good if you if you're talking to me. Yeah, there's too much. I gotta actually kill. Them. Oh come on, got killed. This ain't good, man. This ain't good. I got I got pretty greedy down there. You no, know, my first time getting to wave 15, I didn't got killed. Final wave, wave 15. I have 114 defense. If you just, if you guys are wondering, come on, but ugh, come on. So yeah, for me, yeah, it's kind of sad, honestly. I don't really got any loots here because I got all the weapons I, all the weapons I really wanted. Also, once you get to wave 15 and you ignore all the horsemen, headless horsemen, you kind of want to be aware because these guys will kill you. And if you guys don't know, yeah, okay, that was the last thing. But yeah, let's take a look at the loot that I got, and I'll explain. Don't ask me that. The loot that I actually got was the horse, the headless horseman, the horseman's blade, the raven staff, spooky twig, raven staff, which is odd, morning wood. Trophy, useless. Stake launcher and the ammo. It's another stake launcher and the ammo. The necromatic scroll and the cursed, two cursed flames. And, then, and for some reason, a scarecrow hat. Looks odd. And the candy corn rifle. And the candy corn rifle. So yeah, guys. Um, see you guys on the next wave. Well, actually, I'm gonna be commentating right now. Some tips. The first tip is always remember to never always remember to use the godly flame on this thing or a demonic one this one this weapon right here auto fires as you can see right here and look at my okay so i'm gonna let these pop so i can't really get a good picture here picture but uh, I believe like 10 of them spit out and all of these actually have their individual damage. So um, so if each one will have a base damage of 117, uh, which is an at 5% critical strike chance. Uh, well, actually, um, uh, a 32% critical strike chance, which is insane, you know, as insane. So yeah, for the first two, for the first three waves, use the horseman's blade if you got it. And that thing drops from more, and that thing drops from a uh, pumpkin, uh, not the headless horseman, which is kind of odd if you ask me. Uh, I have the horseman's the the legendary modifier on it, so yeah. And yeah, all of my NPCs somehow died, except for that dude there. Because he's like literally far over here. There he is. The next tip always have the well fed buff. The well fed buff on. Always have that. You will increase your defense by two and give this some some more some minor improvements to your stats. 
and that includes regeneration. So yeah, I'm just gonna be opening all these. Uh, let's see the food I'm gonna get. That's kind of depressing, honestly. Oh well, yeah, that's kind of sad. Pretty sad, I would say. Actually, why did I delete that? I still need that for my Frost Moon Farmer. Because the Frost Moon is literally so difficult, you cannot defeat it without a farm. That's how bad the designers have gotten. So, yeah. Um, yeah. The next tip I would tell you always have uh, a cursed sapling. Because the cursed saplings actually give you, when they do this little animation here, it actually gives you some lighting if you're blind. And it will actually give you some defense. So yeah. I'm just joking about that. Uh, you don't need it. You, actually, you really don't need it. But the thing you really need is potions and the healing potion. Always have the healing potion with you. Because if you don't, you're gonna actually die pretty quickly, trust me. And I'm doing all this stuff because I already have. And if you want proof, I got this abomination over here. Um, uh, oh, none here. None here. None here. But I got this and that and that. Yeah, yeah, I actually have all those. So yeah, pretty dope, honestly. The next and final tip I'm gonna give out, guys, uh, and b before I end this video, probably, um, uh, it's gonna be a. Uh, the last tip I'm gonna give out, guys, is gonna be uh, never ever go in front of Morning Wood. Morning Wood deals a lot of damage. And can take you out really, really quickly. So don't even bother using Horseman's Blade at him, because you're gonna get yourself killed. But you're gonna, you're not gonna deal enough damage. So yeah, that's it for the, that's it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So yeah, this this guy is, is just for optional purposes. You don't have to watch the video uh, from here. You can if you want to see me defeating it without without dying. If you guys want to see me defeat it without dying, here it is. If you, if you guys don't want to, that's okay. And remember to, and if you guys really like this video, eh, you can subscribe if you want. I'm not begging for subscribers. But if you have the kindness to, go ahead. I don't really care. But if you do subscribe, you actually promised me that you were going to watch my videos, alright? Nah, I'm just joking. So anyways, anyway, so anyways, guys, stay calm, cool, collected, and peace out.